When your customer comes back after a few weeks of wearing her amazing nails, you've got to know how to fill and rebalance them if that's what the service calls for. Greg is going to show you how to execute this by showing you a Young Nails trademark technique right now on Nail School. All right, Greg, acrylic fill and rebalance. <laughs> Show us the martial arts of this technique. So it's all about using the right grip uh, and the right technique so that you're able to cut the smile line from one corner to the other side um, in, again, the least amount of effort. So I'm gonna show you how to fill it and then basically how much to fill. And then I'm gonna show you the right technique so that you're gonna be able to cut your smile lines in with precision and ease. Check this out. So this is a client who's been wearing a French set of sculpted acrylic nails for almost a month. You can see that the nail has grown out to here. What I'm going to show you with this technique is how to fill and rebalance the smile line back to its original position. The first thing we're going to be able to do is go through the fill. I need to show you exactly how much. And then once we're done, I'm going to show you how to cut in the smile line to rebalance it back to its original position. But the first thing we're going to do is prep it and get it ready to go. Okay, at a really low speed, what I wanna be able to do is tickle away the shine at the exposed nail. And then what I'm going to do is use my arbor band. And then what I'm going to do is use my arbor band to come through and remove the top coat all the way down to the smile line. I don't have to remove it off the whole entire thing. I'm just going to lightly feather everything off and make sure that we have it prepped and ready for the application. The reason why I don't need to remove it off this area right here is because I'm going to be coming in and cutting it out. We're going to take swipe, we're going to clean the surface and the growth area of oils and contaminants. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take protein bond and we're going to apply a nice even amount right at the cuticle area where the exposed nail is. If you bring a little bit on to the surface, it's not going to make a difference at all. Just, just make sure that you apply two coats to the natural nail. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use Cover Pink. And what I wanna be able to do is get enough product to bring down to the existing smile line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a healthy amount. Remember, I'm not just filling this area. I have to bring enough product down through the stress area so that I have room to cut in a new smile line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice healthy bead. I'm going to set it right to the cuticle area. We're going to press it tight tight all the way. I'm going to keep the finger pointed down. And then what I want to be able to do is start to feather it, start to feather it over the stress area. Right. And what this is going to do is it's going to build up enough thickness right through this area here. I don't want to build a whole nother nail on top of the existing nail. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to fill in this area, drag the bulk over the area where I'm going to cut the smile line in. So, and as you can see, I have bulk build up at the sides and right behind the smile line because that's the area that I'm going to cut. You're going to do this to all 10 nails by the time you're done doing the 10th nail, the first one will be ready to dry and you're ready to start cutting in your smile lines. Okay, so the product is dry and we're now ready to cut the smile in. And as you can see, I'm in the overgrip position. My hand is here on top with my thumb on the side and my pinky is on the opposite side, really basically pointing to each other from side to side. This is going to allow me to get into the perfect position so that I can start from one side and cut all the way around just like this. My thought process is 
Very simple. I'm going to start behind the smile line. So the area of the bit that I'm going to be using is zone one, which is this part right here, as you can see, this front part. And I'm just going to get it behind and I'm gonna work it from corner to center. And then I'm gonna make an adjustment by getting my thumb underneath and I'm gonna go from center to corner, just like this. Now here's the thing. The cut is going to be really easy from this point to this point. Where it starts to get tricky is right here, from this point to this point, because you're going against the grain. So what I'm gonna do is lighten up my grip so that I can get around without the bit jiggling or basically getting stuck inside the acrylic. I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. When I'm cutting, I'm not trying to do it in a really fast motion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line my bit, start from the corner, and what I'm going to do again is work it from corner all the way to center, right there. You can see the line that I made from here to here. And what I can do is I could go back and I could refine it, I'm just making sure that I'm taking the edge of my barrel and coming right behind. You can see how far I'm already bringing the smile line back. Now. From this center to this corner, what I'm gonna do is make an adjustment. My thumb is going to get underneath, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow. So remember, I'm going against the acrylic. So what I need to do is kind of lighten up my grip when I come around this edge right here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure, and then you're gonna notice that I'm trying to really file with zone one of my barrel so that it slides all the way down into the corner with ease. You see that? Now again, I have, again, I have a lot. You can see how much I removed around this corner. I kind of lightened up my grip and then put a little bit more pressure right there. All I'm gonna do is take my file and do a little bit of detail work down through here. All right, down through here. Yeah, look at that, perfect. Okay, now you can see how well everything is cut out. Okay, now all this thickness in the front, let me show you how I remove all that thickness. I file in one direction, and then when I get to the center, I kind of use a front to back motion, front to back motion, to take down all of that thickness. And I continue to do that from side to side. I'm going to work it corner, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, detailing that edge so that it's absolutely perfect. Don't worry about whether the smile line is 100%. You're always going to be able to come in with a hand file and just touch it up. I'm just going to dust off the surface. I'm going to take my hand file and what I'm going to be able to do is run it along the wall to make it absolutely flawless. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take some swipe. We're going to clean the surface. We're going to take protein bond. I'm just going to lay it down into the cut area with one coat. And we're now gonna fill it with white. I'm gonna pick up a wet pearl because what I wanna be able to do is when I set it into this trough that I've cut out, I wanna be able to use the tip of my brush to quickly push it to the corner and allow it to self-level into perfection. I'm gonna lift the finger like this to slide it off, okay? I'm gonna get a nice wet pearl. I'm just going to slide it off my brush and then use the tip of my brush to quickly poke it into the corner, being really light-handed. Get the excess off, and again, it's still in a very, very moldable state. So all I want to be able to do is just kind of guide it into place, just like this. And then as it starts to set, I could use the body of my brush to walk it evenly from side to side. I don't want to push down on it too hard because I don't want it to go underneath the tip. Let that sit and we'll file it into shape. 
Okay, the product's dry, and what I'm gonna do is come in and just get my edges straight at the sides, at the front. I'm just going to take this back slightly and then just make sure that my lower arches are absolutely perfect. And then the best part about this is that we don't really have that much to file through the surface. Now, the best part about this is I filled it here, we cut this in, filled this, and the only thing I have to do is file the whole thing into shape. So, take a look at this. I'm gonna come down to my upper arch, and then you're going to notice that my smile line, you're going to notice that my smile line is going to file out super, super sharp. You can see how awesome that smile line is. That is cut in with my electric file. The fill has been complete and the smile line has been rebalanced. When it's all finished and sealed with stain resistant top coat, it's all back to its original position. By understanding the right technique for the fill and the rebalance, you're not only gonna be able to fill in the right amount for the growth of the natural nail, you're gonna be able to put in the right amount so that you have enough room to cut in a brand new smile line.